Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. Set may mean anything. Sitcom set, set score in a volleyball game, last set of a band, and many more. But set is a term that we often hear and use to group objects together. Often, but not always, the objects in a set have similar properties. For instance, all the things that we use to prepare and cook food are part of the kitchen set. When you complete gears for characters in a gaming console, we call them armor set. Even people can be grouped together to form a set, like all the students who are currently enrolled in a particular school make up a set. If we group all the people with the name Seth, they are called set of sets. Interesting, right? The language of sets is a means to study such collections in an organized fashion. So a set is a collection of well-defined objects. These objects are called elements. Remember that a set should always be well-defined to identify the elements. It is common for sets to be denoted using uppercase letters, while the elements are enclosed using phrases. For example, let A be the set of Zojak skins in the Mobile Legends game. For those who don't know, skins are like costumes and armor sets for a particular character in the famous Mobile Legend game. The skins are mostly based on galaxy and stars, so the Zojak skins are based on the 12 fire signs of Constellation. So set A contains Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and so on. We write these symbols to denote that A is an element of the set A, and these symbols to denote that A is not an element of the set A. In the previous example, Libra is an element of A because Libra is in the set, while King, though another skin in the game, is not an element of set A because there is no King here inside the set. In mathematics, we use numbers and their properties to form a set. In this example, C is a set containing 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 and 2 are element of set A. 6 is not an element of A because there is no 6 within the set. Z is a variable that could be any value, so it's not an element of set A, unless you see it here. Although sets are usually used to group together elements with common properties, there is nothing that prevents a set from having seemingly unrelated elements. For instance, in this example, is a set containing four elements, A, 1, smiley icon, and mask. There are several ways to describe a set. One way is to list all the members of a set when this is possible. We use a notation where all members of the set are listed between braces. This way of describing a set is known as the roster method. For example, the set V of all vowels in the English alphabet can be written as set V containing A, E, I, O, U. The set E of even counting numbers less than 10 can be expressed by set E containing 2, 4, 6, 8. Notice that 10 is not included here because it's not less than this number. Sometimes the roster method is used to describe a set without listing all its members. When the elements of a set are too many, list some elements first then use ellipsis. But you need to make sure that the general pattern of the elements is obvious. Hindi pwedeng 2 tapos ellipsis agad. Dapat ma-establish yung muna yung pattern ng inyong mga elements. Ellipses can be placed in different order depending on the pattern of the set. For instance, in this example, the set of integers is written using side-by-side -side ellipses. In the set of whole numbers, you could start with zero and end it with an ellipsis. In the set of negative integers, since this set is extending to negative infinity, then it should start with an ellipsis. 
Another way to describe a set is to use a set builder notation. We characterize all those elements in the set by stating the property or properties they must have to be members. The set x such that x is an even number less than or equal to 10 is written in set builder notation because instead of listing all the elements, we use the properties of all the possible elements like 8, 6, 4, and 2. Now, how about these examples? Set O is x such that x is an odd positive integer less than 10. Can you give me at least one element for this one? Yes, it could be what? 3. What else? 7 is possible. And so on. And this set Q is a set containing x such that x is any rational number, like 3 over 5. And we can also use interval notation if we want to describe sets. Do you recall interval notation? When a and b are real numbers with a less than b, we can write this following interval notations. So if you can see here the bracket a to b, it means that x is an element of any real number such that x is greater than or equal to a but less than or equal to b. So, pag nakikita nyo itong mga brackets na to, ibig sabihin kung anumang numbers ang nandito na nakasulat ay kasama sa ating set. Dito naman, ang A ay kasama pero yung B ay hindi kasama because this is a parenthesis. Eh, kung magbigay na lang kaya ako ng example, ano? In this interval, we can see here that 2 is beside the open parenthesis. So, meaning yung 2 hindi kasali sa set natin. So, kung magbibigyan ako ng mga possible elements, pwede ba yung 2? No, but 2.1 is possible because 2.1 is a real number greater than 2. Hmm, pwede rin naman yung 5. Pwede rin naman yung 7.89. Pwede rin naman yung 9, hindi ba? Bakit po pwede yung 9? Kasi, kumamit tayo ng bracket. How about in this interval? Yes, 4 is included in the set. 5 is also included. 6.33 is also included. But 8 is not because this is an open parenthesis. Guys, remember that if you happen to see this kind of interval, it's called closed interval. And if you happen to see both parentheses, it's an open interval. Example for the closed interval. We can have one third to let's say nine. For the open interval, it could be 11 to 100. Now, how about we try these examples? Write the set of integers greater than negative four but less than 59 using the roster method. Using the Proster method, we will start with negative 3 because it's the next highest integer to negative 4. We cannot use decimal numbers here because we only need integers. So the next one is negative 2. The next is negative 1 and then followed by 0. Now since we established our pattern, we can now use ellipses. 3 dots and up to 58. Why 58? Of course, because the numbers should be less than 59. In the next example, we need to write the set of positive real numbers between 1 half and 100 over 7 in interval notation. I think this is easy because when we say between, 1 half and 100 over 7 are not included in the set. So I'm going to use open and close parentheses on both sides. And this is now our final answer. But of course, if you want to define this using set builder notation, it's like this. X is an element of R such that X 
is what? Greater than one half, but less than one hundred over seven. That's one hundred, okay? So notice that I did not write any equal sign here because these are open and close parentheses. Now, how about this? Let us write this set in set builder notation form. Ready for the answer? Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to specify that x is an element of the set of integers. Why? Because 3.1, 3.2 are not allowed in the set. So we need to specify that they are all integers, such that x is a multiple of 3. Because these numbers are all multiple of 3. But of course, they should be less than or equal to 15. The cardinality of set refers to the number of elements in a set. So we can use either of these two symbols to represent the cardinality of set A. Now, why don't we try these examples? Let the set A be a set containing X such that X is a lowercase English alphabet letter. Okay, so all we need to do here is to count the alphabets in English, right? So there are about what? 26. So the cardinality of A is 26. How about this set? All you need to do is to count the elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer here is 6. How about this one? X is an element of woo. This means set of positive integers. So we will only consider the positive integers. And X is an even number less than 10. Oh, so this should be un. Okay, so how many? Alright, we start with 2. And then what? How about 4? 6? 8. But 10 is not included, right? Because it should be less than 10. Are we missing something? No, we cannot include 0 because we only need positive integers. So, the answer here is 4. How about this last set? X is an element of positive integers again, such that X is an even number less than or equal to 10. Naku naman. Eh di kagaya lang nitong nauna, nilagyan lang natin ng 10. Bakit? Because this time, 10 is included in the set. So the answer here is 5. Good job! And speaking of cardinality, we can only count the elements of finite sets because finite sets are sets which either has no elements or has elements which could all be possibly listed down. They are countable. Countable. Yeah. Let R be the set of natural numbers less than 10. Can we count them all? Of course, we could start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 19. Okay? So, that's an example of a finite set. And infinite sets are sets whose elements cannot be listed. Unlimited. Set of all real numbers. Hindi natin mabibilang lahat ng numbers. ba? So, this is an example of an infinite set. And we also have the null set. These are sets with no elements. So, kung walang element yung set, pwedeng isulat as a circle and a slash or braces like this. Example, set of positive integers between 1 and 10 that are divisible by 13. Is there a number between 1 and 10 that is divisible by 13? None. So, this is an example of a null set. Number two, set of integers between 2 and 3. Nope. There are no numbers or integers between 2 and 3. Because when we say integers, 2.1 is not an integer. 2.2 is not an integer. 2 and 3 are consecutive positive integers. And guys, do you know that we also have equal sets? Let A and B be sets. If both A and B have the same elements, then A is equal to B. In number 1, set A here is equal to set B on the other side. Why? 
guys, in a set, the order is not important. So, though this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 1, 4, 2, 3, they are equal because they have the same elements and same cardinality. How about here in number 2? It seems that set A has more elements than set B. But, notice here that 1 was written twice and 2 was written thrice. Guys, in a set, two, two, two elements are just the same. So we can just write these three twos in a single element. Likewise with one. So therefore, this set A is just equal to one, two, three, four, like in set B. And that's all for this video. For more mad video tutorial, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Nang matuklasan ang ganda ng Sipnaya.